Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video we'll be looking at how to use My Avada, the Avada Support and License Management Portal found at my.avada.com. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. Ok, let's begin. I'm on the My Avada dashboard here. If you need help registering for an account, check out the How to Register for My Avada video, linked below. But if you have an existing ThemeFusion account, you can just log in with those credentials. So at the top of the dashboard here, we can see a main menu. This covers four areas, the dashboard itself, licenses, support, and a section called Engage. Let's start here on the dashboard. As you can see, there's a summary of your account at the top. It shows my name and Gravatar, and on the right it shows how many licenses I have purchased, what my support status is, and how long I've been with Avada. As you can see, I'm an old timer. There are links to manage your licenses and submit a ticket up here as well. Above this is the main My Avada menu, and the profile area on the right. Here you can either log out or edit your profile. And change things like your email address or add a new password. Just be aware that your support history is connected to the email address, so if you change that you will lose the ticket history. Ok, let's come back to the dashboard. Under the account summary is a section showing the latest licenses. Here you can add a new one, view details of the last few licenses added, and there's a link to manage your licenses at the bottom. Under this is a support section with support status, the main support links, and a view ticket history link. And on the right hand side is an engage with us section, with a report a bug link, the voting links, and make a request link. Under this at the bottom are links to purchase another license, our hosting special with SiteGround, and a customization link. Now if we go back to the menu, let's check the rest of the site from there. We are on the dashboard, so the next link is licenses. This is where you can manage your Avada licenses. We have a video specifically on that, so check out the how to manage your licenses on my Avada video, linked below, for full details on what you can do on this page. Support is next, and here we can see there are four links, Submit a Ticket, Ticket History, License Unlock, and Downloads. If I start with Submit a Ticket, we start with a page where we can enter a query summary. Let's say I have an issue with postcards I can't resolve, so I'll enter how to use postcards, and a bunch of docs come up where I might be able to find the answer. See the before you submit a ticket doc for details on what you should do before submitting a ticket, but if you have looked at that and still need support, then you need to click the continue button. This takes us to a page where we can fill out a support ticket. It's important to enter as much detail as possible here, to enable the quickest possible resolution to your issue. Once you've filled out the form and submitted it, a support representative will be in touch as soon as possible, usually within 24 hours, and will stay in touch with you until the issue is resolved. Ok, let's now look at the ticket history section. Here you can see all your support tickets. Each ticket has a status, and a date, and ID. You can enter any of these tickets and if needed continue to reply. Ok, the next link on the menu is License Unlock. I don't have any locked licenses on my account, but in case one of your licenses gets flagged in our system, you will find a form on this page to contact us to resolve it. Finally, under support is the Downloads page. As you can see, there are four tabs across the top. On the first tab, you can download the premium plugins. The second tab gives you an alternative import method for the pre-built sites. The third tab, Old Avada Versions, allows you to download key step releases of Avada if you are updating a really old site. And finally, the last tab allows you to download the Avada patches manually, in case you have server restrictions that stop you from applying them automatically. Ok, that's the download section. Let's look at Engage. Here there is User Voting, Make a Request, and Report a Bug. I'll start with User Voting. Again we have tabs at the top, and this time there are three. Feature Voting, which we are on now, Pre-built Voting, and Studio Voting. These all work in the same way, giving you an opportunity to have your say on future Avada development. We are guided by these in our development process, so make sure you vote on the features you want to see next. Just click on the thumb to vote for the feature you want to support. You can also vote on future pre-built sites and Avada Studio content. 
Try it out. It's a great way to get involved with Avada. You can also make a request directly to us. On the Make a Request page, you will find a contact form where you can request a new feature, new pre-built, new piece of Avada Studio content, or new documentation or video. We can't guarantee you'll always get what you want, but if you don't ask, well, you know the rest. Finally, there is a Report a Bug page. Here you can report any bugs you have found. These reports are forwarded directly to the development team for evaluation. Just remember to give as much detail as possible here when filling out the form. And that's my Avada, our support and license management portal. Let us know in the comments how you find it. Okay, this concludes our video on how to use my Avada. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.